Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K15 Rec Center game Where, as you guys may or may not notice, I am not running with the normal guys I run for While well, I run rec games with this game The only guys you might recognize is the Josh Witter, aka Josh Other than that, it's three random people who we just, you know, squad up with Because we need to play a rec game, we didn't have anybody else and I don't know who these guys are, and so far they're not really doing the job for us right now We're down 9-3, to three. you see this doing the Iguodala jersey, breaking the shot And this guy's... These are trying to extend the deficit some more and like i said we are not off to a good start so josh and i we were playing a lot of 2k15 this day i believe we played about 12 hours straight of well not really, like 12 straight hours we would take breaks every once in a while but for the most part we had 2k on for about 12 straight hours trying to get rec games as you see here on the fast break i find the guy in the jazz jersey who finishes thankfully that layup and stops the bleeding for just a little bit for what these guys have been doing to us which has been straight up pretty much murder and it continues because i said our teammates weren't really doing too hot but one by one they did start the drop thankfully it helped us out because on the defensive end playing with computers is definitely a bonus and when you don't know who you're playing with um, playing with CPU also helps, so that means you get more touches. So Josh and I in this game, we're definitely trying to work together, definitely trying to help each other get touches. You see my guy zigging and zagging his way to get a buzzer beater and give his team a 13-point lead as we find the um, B guy, the shooting guard, cutting to the hoop. And yeah, like I said, we and him were trying to work together, but it was not working too well early on, as you guys can see. Redshirt knocks down the three, and it's a 19-point lead. Then this guy in the Jazz jersey, all he was doing is driving to the rim and not making it, and then he ends up leaving. So now we are sitting in a pretty decent position. The two guys who were not really doing much on offense left the game, and now we get their CPUs on defense. So that helps us out on both ends. Fortunately, we still ended up down by, what, 21 points, as you see. I'm cherry picking hard. Well, you guys saw me waiting for that like fast break to start. I was like, all right, so I'm going to get a rebound, and I'm out. That's what I do in the rec now. You see Josh open for three pump fakes and eventually knocks down the shot there. Like, I know I'm not getting rebounds with Danny Tice, all right? I'm 5'11". There's like seven foot three behemoths in the paint. So what I'm doing is cherry picking. I mean, hell, I might as well. If I'm not getting... Oh, I should be at least boxing on that kind of board. But um, as we get the charge, if I'm not getting bored. I might as well be out, you know? So that's what I do a lot in the rec center. It's kind of cheesy, but at the same time, um, that guy has to get back on defense or else I'm scoring as Josh ends up scoring from way downtown. And our connection was pretty damn good. As you see, he finds me, but uh, 2K decides to ruin our connection by letting the ball go out of bounds. But as you guys see, the deficit is slowly shrinking. We're playing some good defense. Unfortunately, that guy knocks down the shot despite of the good defense, but we are playing good defense you see we get the steal one the cpus picks it up kicks it back to me since i call for the ball and we knock down the three so we got the steal and the shot there big sequence there make it a seven point game and this was a 21 point game before like i mentioned we cut it you know two, two thirds of the way down the funny part is josh and i didn't even realize we were cutting the deficit we didn't even realize it was a 21 point game we were just laughing around the skype call and um all of a sudden, it was a close game, just like that. As you see, Josh is going to drive fade away and make that bucket right there. I mentioned it before in the previous video. Josh, you know, he's not indecisive. He knows what he's doing the ball, whether pass or kick. He, he has a move in mind, just, you know, always ready. So it's good to have him on the team. And there, we work on a little inbound pass. People don't expect the point guard to cut to the rim. So I like to cut to the rim off of inbound passes, and that guy wasn't prepared. And as you guys saw, it resulted in a bucket for us. as We pass it to Josh, and Josh's shot is money right now. It's a 3 point game and it's not even the end of the third quarter and we're making this comeback as josh gets the rebound kicks it down court to us and we pull up the oh perfect release three now obviously i could have given to that guy who was running the break but um i was trying to get josh uh, an assist i was trying to get him that teammate grade so i had to pull up the shot there and we ended up making it it was not i mean it wasn't a bad shot or anything like that. as you see that was not a bad alley -oop, but it was definitely a bad finish by cpu jazz man and because of that we are down two as you see i thought about pulling up that d3 but i had better thoughts of it and instead we drove to the paint for the and one finish we made the free throw that gave our team the lead and redshirt misses that shot there that starts a fast break for us i see the shooting guard leaking but i also see josh open somewhat for a deep three and he gets himself open with that extra pump fake knocks down the shot and we're up by four the shooting guard ended up staying in the game for the rest of the game and thankfully he wasn't a pain in the ass he would pass the ball to us sometimes he would play some okay defense so that worked out for us and helped us make the comeback as you guys see first time i tried to strip this guy was a foul second time we get the steal and i'm looking at the shooting guard and he waits for it and unfortunately does not get the shot to go as Josh almost throws the turnover. Later on in the possession, I find the shooting guard back. I want to try to get him some touch. 
much. Just try to get him on our good side here so he doesn't try to take over the game. Make him feel involved. Unfortunately, again, this redshirt guy involved a lot. And he knocks down a three to give this team back the lead. Two-point gain. Now we need a bucket to keep up with these guys. And Josh with the beautiful backdoor cut. Finishes with the foul. Goes to the free throw line and gives us back the lead. As you see, this is a little bit too much help defense. Because my guy ends up getting open and knocks down the immediate shot there. Lead back up to them. And it's just a back and forth battle right now. No matter how much points we were down before, it's all about how much we can execute in the clutch. And here, Denny Tice with the post fadeaway. Five seconds left in the shot clock. You just had to do something, anything random to create your offense sometimes. And that was pretty damn random for um, them. They did not expect that. You see this guy. Um, he wanted to take it coast to coast. And he finished with a floater. You don't see those too often. We get the three-point lead thanks to that. You see this guy trying to pull up a random three there. We got the good shot defense there to prevent him from tying the game. And then we're leaking out in transition. Cherry picking hard. We got 23 points for this game. Trying to finish the game off with Josh. But he does not finish the shot in the paint and they have a chance once again to tie on this possession obviously with 20 seconds left they're looking for the three and they got a good look for the tie but they can't get it to go and josh with the big rebound in the paint and now it's time to play keep away here obviously that's an open shot but with nine seconds left we're just trying to kill the rest of the clock or they can foul send us to the line but i pass it to an open josh the clock continues to wind down three seconds left they still don't foul and josh passes it away and that's going to end the game so we complete the 21 point come back somehow with the win i don't know how we did it but we did it so we are watching this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more nba 2k 15 rec center games see we finished 10 for 10 shooting perfect game um and i'll catch you guys next time